A, a male subscriber said to me that he's at home and he's just eating takeaway food, mostly junk food, because he couldn't cook. This to me is completely unacceptable. And so, all I've got here is just stuff that you can just like easily make an absolutely delicious dish. I bought this yesterday, as you saw. Um, carrot, joko, garlic, onion. Salt that I've got in a dodgy old container. Actually from a beautiful subscriber who visited me and brought me this Rugenic, um Super Detox drink. And so I've already finished all of that. So thank you so much, beautiful. And then I've actually got sugar. Okay, maybe not the healthiest, but uh, you gotta have a good oil. So this is like an Australian oil, extra virgin oil. And it's one of the two good ones in Australia. Don't use crap oil. You won't have any taste. And also for the blokes and you know for lazy people, get yourself a decent container, make a bunch of food and chuck it in the fridge. It's not going to be perfect because you need to, you know, basically cook fresh. Um, and cooks out there, ladies and gents, I want you to chime in because you know, cooking's it's so easy. Like it's so easy. You just need some good ingredients, keep them fresh, and um, go for it. I just boiled this um, absolutely stuffed full of Balinese herbs. So there's a remainder of the herbs. There was um, dried shrimp chili, coriander seeds, black pepper, salt, um, basil, uh, star anise, saffron, you believe? Oh my god, it's insane! But then, but then, there's no way you can know that. I just started doing this new thing with the garlic and the the onions because the onions are really small and like it was they're a little bit hard to deal with and I wasn't quite sure what to do because you can sort of you know peel them like garlic and that's time consuming and even garlic to me is time consuming so I am frying them off like really hot well as hot as it gets and see how the the outside skin's starting to come off. But I have another step. It only took like a, a minute. And then, I'll do this. i squish them. This is a cooking term called squishing. Then I just put them all back in. But see how the shells are already coming off? Then I pick them out with these. don't need to be really precious about peeling the choco given that you've probably washed it. You don't need to get rid of that middle bit. Thin slices. In Australia in the old days we used to, or well, mum used to, uh, kind of miss mum, um, used to peel the choco and take out the white bit in the middle and get rid of every single little bit of you know skin but 
Chinese style. You don't need to. I'm not trying to teach you how to cook. I'm just trying to say, dude, that dude that came through to me and said he couldn't cook, and now I've got people saying they just ate Subway. Come on, man, you can do better than that.